All right, we have a data firm, records a large amount of data. Historically, 0.9% of the pages of data recorded by the firm contains errors. 200 pages are randomly selected. We're going to show that you can approximate the binomial with the Poisson. So we need to do both so we can compare them. All right, and so I know for the binomial distribution, I need two uh, values that I'm going to plug into the Excel formula, which is my number of trials, 200, and my probability of success, which is the probability we would get an error, which is 0.9%, and I'm going to put that in decimal. All right, so my Poisson, all I need is the mean, which is lambda, which is the same as n times p. All right, so that's all I need is this one variable, so equals n times p, or I should say this parameter. All right, so I have everything I need. I look through here and I see that I want six or more, more than 10, none, fewer than five, so 10 looks to be my biggest number. The reason I'm looking at this is I really don't want to go all the way down to 200. You could, because it's easy in Excel, right? But I don't want to. I'm too lazy. So I understand complements that if I have more than 10 is going to be the same thing as by the complement as 1 minus 10 or less. And so I know all I have to all I have to do is go up to 10. All right, and the same thing over here is I'm just doing the same thing on both sides. All right, so what's, uh, let me set up all these probabilities. So my binomial using the binom.dist. My number of successes, zero for this one. My number of trials, 200, and I press F4 because I want that to copy. My probability of success, I F4, I want that to copy. And then I do not want these to accumulate, so I say false. So when I hit enter, this would just flat out be the probability none, which in fact is that question there. And so I press enter, and there's my answer. I take this formula and I copy it straight down. All right, so then, and we talked about in the other video, if you don't like the scientific notation, you can right click, format cells, tell it to be a number, and just give it enough decimal places so you actually see the number there. All right, and so over here, I'm gonna do the Poisson, if I can spell it. So the Poisson distribution um, the arguments that it needs in here are the X, so the number of successes, the mean, which we calculated right there. And then, once again, I do not want this to accumulate. I just want that one value. I press Enter, and as we can see, they're pretty, pretty close to the same values. I drag this down, and once again, I can do the same thing here. Notice there, it's actually, there's a cool thing instead of right clicking, you can pick a cell, like say you like this number of decimal places, and up here you can go to the Format Painter, and then you can click and drag, and what it does is it formats all of the cells to those same number of decimal places, and so it just makes it look a little nice because everything's the exact number of decimal places. All right, so what's the probability that my number of successes is six or more. So that would be six or more, okay? Greater than or equal to six. Is the equal, to, is the same as one minus the sum, so adding all these probabilities, of one minus the probability x is less than six. So if x is greater than or equal to 6, then I would have to have went all the way down to 200, which I didn't do. So I'm just going to do the probability that we're less than 6, but do 1 minus. So the binomial side, 1 minus the sum 
of these probabilities because all of those would be less than six. Okay, and of course not selecting six because notice above it said six or more, so I want less than six. I press enter and I get, that's my answer for binomial. I can do the same thing over here with the Poisson. So I take and I add the probabilities of the one through five. And as we can see, they are comparable. All right, so now if I want to find the probability more, more than 10, so greater than 10, would be the same as the probability less than or equal to 10. Okay, because more than 10 would be 11, 12, 13, and so on. So I can find that by one minus the sum 10 or less, press enter. And here you should never put zero for a probability, never. There is a number there, so what you want to do is you want to increase that decimal until you at least see one number there. Okay, so that's the binomial. I'm going to do the same thing over here for the Poisson. So 10 or less, 1 minus. Same thing, I'm going to use my little format painter and it'll even highlight it for me. So these values actually ended up being the same. If you wanted to start to see differences, again, increase your decimal a little bit. All right, the probability that none of the pages, well, that's this one and this one. So that would be the probability none. And then the probability fewer than five. So the probability fewer than five would be less than five. And this is just a straight sum of the probabilities less than five, so fewer than five would be zero through four. And then the same thing over here, we would sum zero through four. And again, the whole point of this exercise is to see when you have a very small probability and a large sample size that you can use the Poisson to approximate the binomial.